Hi. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're total doofuses. Mm -hmm. So we, we changed, I've got this uh, ring light and we hopefully warmed it up a little. It kind of looks like we look a little bit better, but I have so much glare on this, I can't really see. And again, I apologize for the glare, but I need my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Um, and no, I can't wear contacts because I don't know how to put that stuff in my eyes. And I have a weird, my vision is really weird. Yeah. I used to have perfect, perfect vision, uh -huh. but now I need reading glasses and distance. So I don't know how you would get that in a contact, but I guess I'll find out. Is that like a bifocal basically? Yeah. Uh, but I want to get the bifocals that I think don't... they're starting to do that, the contacts. Are they really? I think so. Hey, if anybody out there knows that, please comment in the comment section because, uh, I, I do have to go get my eyes checked right now. I'm just wearing reading glasses, which is a cheap way out, but I was trying to heal from my strabismus surgery. And yeah, it's time for me to get glasses, real glasses. Mr. Business surgery? Strabismus. Oh. Strabismus? <laughs> You're She's like, Mr. Business? business all day. She had no idea what I was talking I about until right now. I kept hearing <laughs> Mr. Business, and I thought it was like a little personal joke. I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't get it, but all right. So for those of you that don't know, strabismus um, is when you have crossed eyes. And they can vary in, in degree. Mm -hmm. um, mine ended up getting really bad when I got into a... I got rear-ended in 2016. In a car. Yeah, in my car. And it literally knocked me to a point where I thought I was really cross-eyed i mean like i i felt like my eyes were like this mm. yeah all the time oh. so every time i'd look at somebody i felt like my eyes were crossed and everybody kept telling me no 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 your eyes are fine so i finally went and i saw somebody and they told me yeah you have strabismus and it did get worse because of the car accident and th i had the surgery two years oh my god almost three years later wow two and a half years later and it's it been would that long? it's been that long jesus 2016 Crazy. I haven't so, seen you in like a year. No, I know. It's been a brat. <laughs> I know. I know. We're just so fucking busy. I'm just a hermit, too. We're both very outgoing recluses, if that can make any kind of sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. God, we really are. It's kind of sad. It's all right. We're still friends. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> we don't need yeah. to be in touch with yeah. each other 24 7. We know where we stand. Yeah. We're good people. But, um,. Yeah, so I ended up having a surgery, and the surgery would have worked, but I had to take three classes. These are two 50s, okay? I had to take two, three classes that were very close up work. One was oil painting, and the other two were metals classes. So I had to get in there with these little tiny things and look at them, and I can't see them with these. So I had to wear 400s to see what I was doing. And she had said to me, oh, a week and you'll be fine. You can go back to your regular stuff. And when I went in for my, um, mm -hmm. I think my second or third appointment, she's like, you've been crossing your eyes. I'm like, no. Come to find out it was the glasses. So the surgery was a waste. Kind of. I don't feel dizzy when I take my glasses off now, which is really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, that sucks, though, that it didn't work. Yeah. I feel like she should have, like... She should have told me and told you more like inquired more about like what is your normal day like what are your classes like 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 these are like the things you should stay away from yeah, exactly and yeah. I don't think that she thought about them because this surgery is usually done on kids not on people you know 30 and older I mean it, it is done but it's not as common it's usually done on kids to correct their eye problems then um, so I think she was just expecting whatever a kid would do and I had to go to school. Yeah. I had to finish my stuff. She, yeah, like even the computer work, like she Oh didn't my think god. That. Well she told me no no glasses, no computer work, no looking okay. at anything close for a week. I'm like, oh okay, I got a week. Well I don't start school for two, so no. I'm fine. And then when I ended up doing my school work, it ended up being a close work. Yeah, a lot of close work. I ended up dropping my thank God my um god damn what did I do with this box? I ended up dropping my uh, oil painting class because it ended up being way too much for me and I was really, really getting dizzy. But even the two other classes just didn't cut it. So yeah, I have to keep my glasses on. I apologize. And, uh, Ooh, I'm a long tangent. Uh, but it's nice though. I know, a long ass tangent. <laughs> so I ended up getting another box Wink. from Wink. Wink! 
clink, clink, clink. And they're, um, I'm actually gonna pull it up here even though they're not gonna see. Their questionnaire, <laughs> guys, you need a revamp. You seriously, Wink, you need a revamp on your questionnaire because you gave me what I'm going to call the worst wine I've ever had in my life. Um, let me show you their questionnaire. If it's even gonna work. Okay, oh, you can't even see the questionnaire, shoot. But they basically ask you, do you like tart things? And then you have a variety of, yes, I do, no, I don't, I kind of do on occasion. I like tart things. Yeah. Do you like berries? I love berries. Do you like earthy flavors? God, yes, I love my truffles, I love my mushrooms, I love yucca, I don't really like potatoes, but yes, I like all that stuff. So I answered yes to everything extreme, because I do. And you guys sent me wine that was extreme. Not so, a bit extreme. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. <gasps> Some of these I have not finished, and I'm going to try and use them in my cooking. Um, this one is called Summer Water. It's a 2017 Rosé Central Coast. Let me see if I can remember what this one tasted like. Did you pair it with what they told you to pair it with? They don't even tell you what to pair it with. They supposedly do, but it's like oh, really do. It smells dude. nice. It smells nice and it tastes like cologne. Okay. Yeah. Here, I need, it, um, need a cup. Yeah. Uh, top on the right. Yep. Right there. Grab whatever you want. I don't want the silicone gloves. Why? <laughs> <laughs> smells like trash. Maybe a shot glass. Oh, there you go. Because <laughs> I don't want that much. So we're just gonna give you a little bit of this. Actually, you know what? Whoa, shit. Okay, that's not a little. Try some and I'm gonna try some too. All right. Cause I forgot. I don't really drink a lot of wine. I get the wine that's like the, was it the percent volume alcohol or whatever? Oh, really? I just wanna get fucked up. <laughs> oh, okay. So let me show you. Uh, it's probably not gonna work. No, you can't see that. But there it is. It has these little that's drops. Of uh, like pink drops on them. I'm getting a hint of bologna. What? Like an aftertaste of bologna. Anyway, it's supposed to be some sort of like refreshing thing. It's okay. It's just, yeah, it. It's not summery. It doesn't taste like what you would call summer water. It tastes mm. like. It tastes, oh God, you guys are gonna hate me. It tastes like summer apple cider vinegar wine. Doesn't Very it? acidic. I feel the acidity like in here now. But it's not, majorly acidic. Not when I drink it though. Like, no. Not in like my mouth. You feel it after, right? Yeah. yeah. And I found that with all their wines, which I was really unimpressed by. <clears throat> and then they sent me the Bluffer, which there's none, well, there's like a tiny little drop I'm left. Smell it. What's the percent? Ooh, 14%. All right. <laughs> You're like, that's my kind yeah. of wine. I'm going to show you wine that actually tastes amazing and it can yeah. get you drunk. Okay. Yeah. I feel like, um, I think there's only been like two wines that I actually really liked. And, hmm. Actually, I like that. Oh. Yeah. Is that the one that tastes like wood? Yeah. Okay. It, I tasted like cork. Cor oh, ew. I mean, I didn't get cork in it, but it's like, I guess like a wood cork. One of these, I don't know, this one's called the Bluffer. It's got um, basically a, uh, oh, what's his face? Charlie Chaplin? No, not Charlie Chaplin. No, you're not gonna see that. There it is. So it's got that little guy on there and it's called the Bluffer. Do you know what I, I just watched, uh, what was it, Muppets Take Manhattan or something like that? Oh yeah, it looks like a no. face. No, Muppet, the Great Muppet Caper. And it's like Kermit wearing those like novelty like disguise glasses with the fake nose. That's what I think of when I see this. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Don't hate. Don't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Did you get anything? Not enough to remember. No. But one of these tasted like I was drinking. 
kind of like blueberry or grape juice oh. off of a piece of untreated wood. Yeah. That's not a flavor that I want in my wine. I mean, I guess we're not, I am practically not like a wine connoisseur, but I just like, I feel like it should taste better. Okay, so again, watch Adam Ruins Everything, and there's an episode on wine uh -huh. and how wine connoisseurs, sorry people, <laughs> are bullshit. <laughs> You can't tell all the different notes in there. I mean, okay. just my dad probably because my dad has like an uncanny palate. Uncanny, he can dissect anything he tries and makes it makes himself. I don't oh, know how he does that. I, it, it makes me jealous. And I have a very sensitive nose and a very sensitive taste. What is this? this is called Rosa Obscura, 2017 Red Blend. I kind of wish. Oh wait, I can log in. Where is my ratings? Oh, of course not. They're not going to tell me what I how I rated it. Damn it. Those aren't your ratings? No. These are everybody's ratings, but oh, just a, yeah. So you got a box full of one and two stars. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. So I do view notes. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what I thought about it. So for the summer water rosé, I said this was just terrible. An awful mix of flavors that left you not wanting and confused wishing oh that left you not wanting and confused wishing for summer to end and water to never taste like this <laughs> <laughs> so that is what i thought of the rosé so the oh, yeah the the obscura, the, obscura the i think this is the one okay yeah. this is the one that tastes like wood so this is the one that tastes like you're drinking fermented berries from an untreated piece of wood Ooh. Highly unpleasant. Let me see if you guys can see what this looks like. And again, you guys might like this. I mean, everybody, yeah. wine definitely is is individual. You know, yeah. everybody has what they like. Everybody has what they don't like. Yeah. I'm definitely a red blend girl. Um, and I like my red blends to be... I'm not going to describe this in wine terms. But I basically like it to be bold. That one doesn't have a note. I don't like it to be acidic. This one. Um, and I like it to be sweet, but not dessert wine sweet, because that's that's just way too much. Oh, this one doesn't have. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this one, the guy with the little mustache, he actually tasted like messed up prunes. <laughs> Which. Was it? So I gave it three stars? No, these stars changed. Yeah, crackheads. Why does it do that? I don't know, but I don't like that. Oh, look at that. It's giving this one five stars So now. when you hover over yeah. the stars, it just fills in the stars instead yeah. of actually clicking on it. Talk so about like, cheating. Yeah. Straight up cheating. So I think I gave this one two stars because it wasn't horrifying, but it wasn't something that I would buy again. All right. So the last one is the... And the last one was the Pacificana... <clears throat> California Zinfandel. This one's not too bad. Um, would I get it again? Maybe, but not from Wink. I can get this for a lot less where I go. Uh, so I wrote, this one isn't bad, but it could be better. I'm used to wines like Radius Eclipse. Um, the 2017 Pacifica Zin was different, but not something I'd buy again. Now, the one that I mentioned in here, the Radius Eclipse. Oh, heaven. Now that's a wine. If you want to try a red blend that has everything that I described, that's the red blend you want to go for. Um, both myself, uh, actually it was our friends that introduced me to it, and <laughs> I tend to drink wine, get bored, and go away. I ended up drinking with her probably a bottle and a half, two bottles. That's how good the damn stuff was, mm -hmm. seriously. You can only get it at wine time, so make sure that you get it there. Um, but that is a very good wine. So, Wink, as much as I appreciate the discount that I got on this, I think I ended up paying, actually it should tell me right here what I paid. I like the little booklet that they got. The um, booklet's pretty cool. It goes over like the different, I guess, terminology used in uh, wines and kind of like earthy, dry. Uh, they talk about Chardonnay, Cabernet, body, like definitions basically, and kind of like 
oh, this is like what we're talking about. Yeah, so basically kind of like the frou-frou of wine connoisseurs, which again, watch Adam ruins everything and he's gonna ruin that for you. Minerality, light reds, old world, new world. Uh, and I will agree that there's a way to pair wines. One of these actually had a slightly chocolate taste. So we ended up trying it with our chocolate and um, it wasn't bad, but I have had a wine from some other friends who absolutely love wine. And it is a wine meant to be paired with chocolate and or almonds or chocolate covered almonds. And that wine, I don't remember the name of it, but oh my God, it was absolutely to die for. If you guys wanna know what that wine is, throw a comment in the comment section and I will go ahead and I will ask him and find out. Apparently, one of their greatest hits is the summer water. <laughs> that's, yeah, I'm gonna show you the ratings on the summer water that don't have my rating and you're gonna see that that's not true. Um, I ended up getting a discount for this box and I ended up paying 39.13 with my discount, but the box is generally about $60 and don't do it, guys. I'd rather Sorry. just go to like Trader Joe's. And, go to Trader and look, Joe's. I'll look up the alcohol time. percentage. Yeah, and seriously though, try that ra Radius Eclipse. Yeah. Oh god, okay. that is so goddamn good. So another box down the drain. Um, yeah. And again, I'm I'm really starting to realize because we all love getting boxes like this because it's oh it's presents, Christmas, birthday. Yeah. You know, it's very fun. It's very mm -hmm. fun. But it's highly disappointing when you're paying for the box. And you're paying what I consider to be an exorbitant amount of money for maybe an item that you might use. I know. That's yeah. really, it's really sad and it's really a, a waste. And none of these boxes were given to me, not one. I paid for every single one of these boxes, including the ones that you're gonna see in the future. So yeah. really think about, again, why are you getting these boxes? And maybe what you can do is get a few of your friends together that know what you really like and gift each other boxes. Make that your birthday present, your Christmas presents to each other, or just because mm -hmm. she's feeling down, she's celebrating, she's, I'm thinking of her, hey, here's a box. Mm -hmm. um, I really think that that would make someone feel a hell of a lot more loved than, for example, that single swag box that I showed you guys, um, and even the Bad Fit Fun box. Yeah. That, yeah, because it's personal. It really, really is personal. And you mm -hmm. guys really know each other. I mean, like, she has an idea of what I like. I have an idea of what she likes. But before I ever really gave her a box like that, I'd really want to know what she loved. I'd be listening in to, like, little things that she says to me. Like, on, get me the Kirkland Costco margarita mix. Eight dollars. See that? So <laughs> then I'd make a box and I'd put that thing in there. You could buy I'd, me, like, what is it, six of those for the price of that box. And I, I know, love right? you. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I could throw in the mascara now that I know that you like. Uh -huh. I could throw in all these little makeup goodies that I know that you like and skincare and then the little tchotchke stuff that I know that you like. Mm -hmm. And bam, she's got a box that makes her feel loved. Oh, yeah. So, you know, think about doing that because until these guys, by guys, these companies realize that we're not all one size, we're not all cookie cutter, we're mm -hmm. not all the same product, they're gonna keep on churning this stuff out. And I appreciate what you're doing, I appreciate that you're trying, but you need to make your questionnaires better, you need to make your boxes much more, um, more options to your boxes, more variety, and maybe that means spending a little bit more on your end to get the discounts that you need to to make yourself you know a, a nice profit yeah but the way that you're going right now honestly you're gonna make people just not want to come back and the thing that really annoys me about fab fit fun they actually have a facebook page where you can swap out the things that you don't like for things that other people have that you might like and i'm sorry why am i paying fifty dollars to play swap and I almost said swap and spit, which is an East Coast thing, which is really <laughs> horrible. But why am I paying 50 bucks for a swap meet? No, no, yeah. I, I really don't want that, you know? So for those of you that love them, great. I wish you could just uh, 
actually like instead of it being like a surprise they would be like all right this month we're having like these items in your box and they Can I do and choose well okay so they give pick. you an idea right that's like, what i want to like do. i want to go to mcdonald's and i want to pick my happy meal toy oh wouldn't that be fun <laughs> well i feel like they do do that but well, they subscription boxes like need to start doing that i feel and, and they do to a mild degree like Fab Fit Fun in I guess August first. I get to go in and choose whether I want A or B, A or B, A or B. You get to p see the product, right? I get to see the product. Okay. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Right now, with what I've seen, I don't want any of them. Yeah. I mean, one of them is like this huge flat iron. Hello. <laughs> huge flat iron. What yeah. for? You know, it's an inch and a half. I, I can't uh -huh. use that. But it's an eighty dollar product, so I'm thinking, okay, so can I resell it? Because mm -hmm. then there's value. You yeah. know what I mean? And then the other thing that they have to offer is a yoga mat, which normally I would go for. Right. But it's a very thin yoga mat. And I have back problems, so I need a thick yoga mat. Yeah. Um, I do like the fact that it folds up and it travels, but it's not going to work for me. And then they had some other thing. I got to tell you, this is like a, a little tangent, but I was at Goodwill the other day, and there was this like carrier on the outside it had a yoga mat but it was like a fake it was to hold wine bottles <laughs> my bag <laughs> it was like you know like oh like a travel yoga mat but it wasn't an actual yoga mat like if you were to like take it apart it's like that like wide and it was just like it was a concealer for wine <laughs> that's pretty badass I yeah i kind of like that i, I thought about like getting that. it but it was like broken and i was like nah but i thought that was hilarious that is hilarious that's my kind of bag heck yeah and you know, it's funny that you mentioned bag because in that Fab Fit Fun, mm -hmm. Fab Fit, come on, where are you? Fab Fit Fun. There you are. So in the Fab Fit Fun selections that you get where they're showing off the items that you have and where they're showing off the yoga mat, they have this pretty badass bag. I'm not a bad girl. My bags are like this big. I don't believe in carrying, you know, this duffel bag of nothingness. To carry what in? I, 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 don't, I don't get that. I don't that. even have a bag. I don't even have a wallet. No, like my, I have a, a motorcycle bag that yeah. I use to carry my stuff in because I don't need all that stuff to go with me. I've got a little tiny lip thing, you know, my bat, my bag balm in my container. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. Yeah. Um, I don't need to carry my kitchen sink with me. Mm -hmm. So, for me to like a bag, which <laughs> let me see if I can find this bag. They're not add-ons. I don't know where the heck it is, but. It's a really nice bag and I would absolutely use it for yoga because it, it's that nice. I don't know where to look. I don't know how this like website, uh, oh, Reeboks. Oh, no, wait, Customize. Right here. Oh, Customize is open. Oh, I can customize now? Well, let's not do that. Now. Really? Okay, so see, here's this thing, uh, which, okay, so they have scarf. this scarf that's white, black, and gray check. Yeah, it's like a black like plaid yeah yeah, yeah plush it's... ultra soft plaid scarf i'm not gonna use that no it's, just, it's not my thing cut from the cloth slim striped wallet wait that's different see and i wouldn't use that either because i don't like stripes but this cosmetics pure c maybe oh i can't They're, click on it though. you can't even find out what it is no which kind of oh no but this is to add wait a minute these are add-ons they smell really Oh, I you. smell that spray that you sprayed. Oh, me. the spray! Yeah. I was showing her my um, she Sephora really nice. coconut water spray. Mm -hmm. I freaking love it. It's for hydrating. Mm -hmm. I, I love to just spray that once in a while to make my skin feel like it's not suffering. Oh, it'll open. Yeah. So see, this stuff I'm not going to use. So they on the site, they have two options. Oh, no, those are past choice options. Where's my freaking email? Yeah. I want to see this bag you're talking about. Oh, my God. The I bag love, is so cute. I love bags, okay. but I don't fucking use them. I don't really use bags unless I'm going to something like yoga. Um, fab fit fun. Fab. There we go. I just so. hate carrying shit around, and then it's like always it's it's always a side yes. bag, and it fucks with my back. And then yeah. it's like, what am I carrying? Why do I need this? I don't bring my makeup. If anything, it's just, if you see me with a bag, I'm sneaking shit in, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, to the movies. Alcohol, <laughs> drugs. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> Give me the bag so I can bring in my own food to the movies. Because half the yeah. food in the movies, I'm sorry, it's disgusting. I get that 
you know, theaters, uh, they don't get the ticket money, they only get concession money. I get, yeah. I get it, but it's just like, fuck, man, like, I'm not gonna it's pay gross. that much. Well, and it's not even that. And it's, it's absolute gross. shit. It's Food. like, we can go to 7-Eleven and get that I same level. I right? Oh. For a fraction of the cost. Yeah. Oh, God. So here's the stupid plaid scarf, which I, or plaid scarf, which mm -hmm. I can't stand. And here's the scarf again. Scarf, 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 scarf. Okay, so here's the, 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 right. I'm showing her the stuff that's coming in the bag, which, again, nothing that I want or will use. I think we could, can you think? Well, there's, yeah, you know what? I'll, I feel I'll, like this might be boring. Yeah, it's probably going to be boring. Yeah, I'll link it. But anyway, you guys really need to just give us more options. Bag? No, it's not the bag. It's the damn yoga mat. I wish it was the damn bag. Isn't that a nice bag? <sighs> it is a nice bag. I want the bag. I normally <laughs> fuck. Wait, is it? Oh, see, yoga mat. Okay, which Let's really bums yeah. me out because I really want the bag. I actually like want the, the bag. Like the little uh, picture, like for the video, is like a really nice bag. But it's not for the bag. It's a yoga. It's mat. It's for the damn yoga mat, and uh, I want the bag. So you get these three options, and everything I don't want. Um, I don't know if I'm actually looking at you guys. Where's your camera lens? On the there. bottom right? It's right, I think it's right there. The top? Yeah, I think oh, so. Right. Oh, maybe it is in the bottom right. Yeah, it is in the bottom, yeah, right there. The bottom right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Because I, I don't know where to look yet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Do we have to look at this? Well, I feel like it's awkward if we're like looking, looking off, off in a direction. Hey, if I'm know. looking at the camera and I'm looking at myself, I apologize, but yeah, I, yeah. this is, we're new. We're, new. we're, we're trying. We gotta start somewhere. Yeah, we're just newbies, be kind. <laughs> we don't. We don't give a shit. <laughs> I actually don't. <laughs> We're just having fun. This is what we yeah, do. Yeah, this this is fun. Um, as we get oh, more comfortable. Can... Okay. Oh my god! So anyway, <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> we will see you next time. <laughs> Where's this remote? <laughs> We're oh wait! <laughs> comment in the comment section and tell us know yeah. what you want to hear more about. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And I will be doing polls on Twitter as they come up. But you'll find all that stuff in the links. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.